how to create notebooks in Canva that you can use for your KDP low content book publishing business. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So we all know that KDP low content book publishing is very popular and is a good way of actually making money online. But there's lots of things you need to learn beforehand and these videos are going to be showing you how to do this using all free tools today. So the first books that you should be making if this is your first journey into making low content books or no content books should be notebooks even though the market might be considered oversaturated and the reason why you need to do this is basically just to get used to all the different things that you need to do in order to understand about bleed, no bleed or and putting your covers and things like that together. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that using Canva and you can use all the things that I'm going to be showing you in the free Canva account as well. So here we are on amazon.com and it says I've typed in the main keyword of notebook journal and there's over 18,000 being searched for it per month on Google keywords everywhere. Uh, but there is over 70,000 notebook journals. So the likely chance of selling these can be quite slim, but there are a lot on the first page of independently published ones. Now, this is a big size one. It's eight and a half by 11, but the average pages are 120. And that is a very, very low BSR that will be making quite a lot of money. And in fact, if we go into Helium 10 Chrome extension, which is free, and you do the X-ray tool on there, it will actually bring up how much money estimate that is making so it's six dollars 98 it's having approximately 2413 sales and in revenue that's not what they are making it's just in revenue there's all your royalties need to come off of that which is 16842 so the royalties need to be coming off of that so it's not the exact amount that they are making but it gives you an idea that they are making quite a lot of money from it Again, here, there's another one here, 161 pages, but that's quite a big size as well. Eight by 10, this is 120 pages, and this is a six by nine. Again, another one here, again, great BSRs, six by nine. So those are all the different things. So how do you go about and create it? Well, open up a free Canva account if you've not already got one, then go to create a design and then go to custom size. Now I'm going to actually do it with bleed because I want my lines to go all the way across the page and actually be cut off rather than having like a uh, border where they go to and then the pages are cut up after that. So I need to change this to inches and then for bleed you add a 0 1.25 to the top, 0 1.25 to the bottom and 0 1.25 to one of the side pages. So that gets us 6.125 because that's one of the sizes on the edge there and then 9 0.25 so we're adding the top and the bottom to get that height and just the width on the other one so we're going to create that and that gives us our size now canva has lines that you can be using and it also has rectal box rectangle boxes so if you click here as you can see it says free so you can use that on the free account and if you just click on there you can actually get the line and go across but as you can see this line and I'm going to zoom in is quite thick now to get it so that it is thinner you need to actually bring it in like this just bring it all the way in and that is to 0.2 so that you can even make it thinner than that if you want but that's how you do it you bring it in and then you drag it out so I'll do that again so I just can show you so that's its normal size if you bring it in keep coming down to about 0.2 I think there we go and then I've brought my one there and I've just slided it out or you can do it a simpler way you can press R on your keyboard and it brings out a rectangle and it's just so you can actually go all the way down and you can actually see it a lot more closer. So if I do 
two, can even bring it right down to virtually zero on there. And again, I can drag it out. So that's two different ways of making lines there. I'm going to bring this one down to one, I think. Yeah, that one there. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to keep it on grey there. I could even make it a lighter grey so that it is just nice and aligned. What I want to do is just drag that up there. And I can either copy up here to duplicate or I can use Command D or Control D on my keyboard and then maneuver that to where I want it to be. I'm going to do a third one and move that to where I want it to be. And I'm just eyeballing this and then I'm going to group them together. Command D, bring them down to where I want. Command D, I'll do the same thing. Just repeating the process until I'm absolutely happy. I've managed to learn then. I'm going to group all of them together. Let me just zoom in so I can actually see what I'm doing. So I just draw around it, it binds them all together, and I can click group, and that keeps it as one group. And I'm just going to move it down a bit because I want more room at the top. So that is my first page done. I'm actually not going over the line there. There we go. So that is my first page done. Now you can do up to 100 pages in one go and then download that as a PDF. But if you want to do over 100 pages, then just do the first one. So what you just do is you click on here and you just simply duplicate the page and just keep duplicating the page until you are happy with what you have created. So I'll speed this forward and we'll get to 21st. Now I'm at 20, I'm going to download this as a print PDF. I don't want the PNG, I actually want the print PDF because that is what KDP actually accepts. So I'm going to download that. And it is just called Untitled, but it doesn't matter because I'll rename it all just now. And then I'm just going to carry on and put an extra 80 pages there. That's just opened up. So I'll speed through this again. Okay, that's 100 pages. So again, I'm going to download this, change it again to PDF print, and then I'm going to click download. In fact, I'm going to change this uh, notebook so I know which one it's called. Download PDF print. And then I know I've got both of those. Perfect. So I do have Adobe Acrobat where you can combine them, but I'm doing free tools today. So 
If you go onto Google and type merge PDF, it gives you all different ones that you can use. A small PDF, um, I love PDF, and then uh, combined PDF. You can also merge online for free with the Adobe as well. So you can give so you can go to either one of these and try them out. So we can select files here or drag and drop. We've got two there open merge and just download okay so now we have created our notebook what we now need to do is go and create our cover so what we need to do is actually find the size so what you can do is you can go to Amazon cover template and what you type in is you select the size of six by nine and you type in your page number and you click on what color you want whether it's white cream or color because that makes a difference on the size of the spine then you download the cover template which comes here and it gives you both a PDF and a PNG, and then you can upload the PNG to Canva. The only problem is it is quite large. So what I did is I converted it from a PNG to a JPEG by just doing file save as, and it went straight in as a JPEG and I uploaded it there. But when you do that, it doesn't actually give you the overall size. It just shows you a 6.9. You can actually work it out yourself by doing 6.125 add 6.125 add 0.27 and then for your height 9.25 but there's an easier way and Amazon again has provided a free tool for that which is this here which is the paperback file setup calculator now if you've got tangent templates which is not free that's $59 they do have KDP helper that also gives you the size as well so but if you are just doing all the free version download that calculator so if you're doing all the free methods then it download this calculator and it comes up as an excel file so what you can do is open it up and you'll see that it comes as this you can select what sort of ink size you want whether you want it for cream paper white paper white paper um, color on white paper so i've selected a black ink on white paper i've selected my trim size of six by nine and i've typed in the amount pages i've got and then i click cover and it actually tells me and i'm going to zoom in so you can actually see this here and if you go in right to the bottom here it actually tells me my size which is here 12.52 and then if I just move it around it tells me the height which is 9.25 so that's what I now need to put into Canva to make my cover so I go to Canva and I type it in using the custom design like we did and I click create new design so here we are with this and I've also uploaded this here and all I'm going to do is just click on there and it brings me up my size and if I just maneuver this what I'm using this for is to actually get the right size of where I want to put my text but I'm then also going to put a background on because I want the text here because this is where your text appears it is basically your front cover so what I want to do is I'm going to use some free text as well you can actually there are some that's pro but there is a lot that is free for you to use and they have lots of text combinations that you can have a look at like that's quite groovy quite good so we could choose that and it goes there and I could change that and I could just simply call it notepad or I could notebook I mean not notepad just resize it and bring it down so I could do that I could also duplicate that 
and then write something else here. So I put uh, my secret notebook, and then I could keep that and then put a background, or I could do something else. Find some more. This one here, that's what we want, so that's quite good. And what I'm going to do here, put that in the middle. I am going to ungroup it because I don't want that top text either. I just want this one. And what I can do is something like life is too short. Again, just resize it, put it in. Life is too short. Too long. Boring. I'm going to bring that down. Now I'm quite happy with everything there because it all fits in. It's centered to inside that there. And I also want the word notepad. So I just want a long text here. I'm going to type note, notebook rather than notepad. I can turn it round so it's 90 degrees exactly. And I'm going to move it to the spine. And as you can see, it's not fitting on the spine. So I'm just going to bring that down 20. So it fits in, it fits in. Break that there, break that down there. So I know it's all in the middle. I might bring that text down again. And then just move it so it's right in the middle. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm actually going to change the color of my writing to white because I've got an idea of what sort of um image I am. So I click on the A and it changes the text color there. Then I'm just going to get rid of that background and I'm going to go to photos. So I'm going to choose something like this C here because I want it to actually go on the whole background. So I just drag it until it sort of clips in like that and then you can see it's not pixelated. And I can also put an effect now on there. I can even put a shadow on there so it stands out a bit. I can even change the direction of it. I can change the offset and I can also change the color so it's more of a gray color that is standing out. Transparency down. Or I can do splice. Or I can do neon or I don't like that glitch. It sure looks like quite good, but I think I'll do that where it lifts it out so it just stands out a bit. And again, I'll click on there and lift out. So that is your cover. And then again, what you need to do is download it as a print PDF. So that is your finished notebook. All you need to do now is actually upload it to KDP. And I'll create another video actually showing you how to do that. But this has all been done using free tools. And yes, you can make money with notebooks. You might need to do a lot more research and a lot more looking into what sort of graphics, things like that. But it is a start and you are learning how to use all these different tools. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit the little bit above my head to subscribe to be notified about any other videos that I make. Also, if you've got any questions, don't forget to put them down in the comments. If you want any other videos making certain videos or tutorials, again, just put them down in the comments. I'll have a look at them and I will try to make them. Also, while you're here, don't forget to check out the video on to bleed or not to bleed. And also don't forget to check out the video on the top niches for KDP in 2021.